Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see the list of features comes to your iPhone and iPad when iOS 15.4 officially released. Apple have released the developer beta version 1 to developers to test their applications and keep everything ready when the official release happens. Recently, I have published a video about iOS 15.3 follow-up. If you have any fast battery draining problem, call drop related issues or apps crash after updating to the latest stable version iOS 15.3 do check that episode I'll leave a link to that in the description also in the first comment I'll pin that so that you can easily find it you can try those troubleshooting steps to fix the problem if you are facing any after updating to the 15.3 so with the 15.4 what features we can expect is the very first one is using face ID with a mask this is one feature I'm personally excited about compared to the other three or four features that is going to come so far we have certain you know uh, tunings have been done by the apple uh, since the covid uh, pandemic started you know for the iphone users the face id uh, with mask is definitely a problematical one and we do have some workarounds like we have to cover half of the face and then scan it and then cover the rest half of the face and then scan it to try to unlock it but still we have to touch the mask sometimes in order to you know Know, let the face id detect our face properly avoid that they have brought a couple of features like uh, immediately showing the passcode if it detects the mask on and then they have also allowed apple watch users to quickly unlock when the apple watch is unlocked and you're wearing it iphone will automatically unlock still you know the missing feature that many people felt is that using face id with the mask is still a quite challenging one what about the people who don't have apple watch if they have just iphones what will be the scenario so in such cases you know this kind of face id with the mask feature definitely a game changing one so what it does is it scans around your eye and you know all those features uh, around the eye and uh, unlocks your iphone right now it is in first beta as i have uh, shared the recent video in our channel uh, youtube short video it kind of takes a little bit time so i hope in the next upcoming beta versions it will be fine tuned to make it work faster just like the one uh, with Without mask uh, you know works on your iPhone the next important thing is the compatibility I didn't expect it honestly compatibility for the face ID with the mask feature set to iPhone 12 or newer some people in Twitter and Reddit discussions have mentioned that uh, it could be due to the depth sensing camera improvements have been done to the iPhone 12 compared to the previous generation models so that may be one important requirement to scan accurately and unlock it only by the iPhone owner also some people say that the iPhone 12 a14 bionic processor also has an improved neural engine uh, to process it faster and unlock the iPhone uh, without any compromise so this sort of uh, you know kind of discussions goes on in the web but I'm not sure why Apple limited it I kind of thinking that it could be a business decision to let users upgrade uh, to the upcoming model and to let them experience this kind of essential and an important feature that many people will find it attractive the next feature is iOS 15.4 will allow third party apps to take full advantages of the uh, you know the iPhone 13 Pro 128 promotion display and, and its variable refresh rate so far there are a few bugs that is affecting the app developers to utilize that full potential of the 128 promotion display so this will be fixed in the 15.4 and developers can take advantage of this useful feature so here you can see the Mac rumors article that clearly shows some developers have tested and so happy that the 15 point four lets them to access the variable refresh rate feature the next important feature is iOS 15.4 beta version brings support to custom email domains for the iCloud uh, mail feature if you want to use your own website address uh, for the iCloud mail now you can add it you can add up to five domains is what they have mentioned and this feature has been in the beta testing for quite some time you can access it by visiting beta.icloud.com from your Safari browser if you're a fan of iCloud cloud and you want to set up uh, reroute your entire you know the domain email uh, everything transactions through iCloud and if you have iCloud plus subscription you may find it useful and one more pending feature that uh, Apple have demonstrated at WWDC the last one uh, is universal control so we may see the release of uh, universal control where we can simply drag and drop files between uh, the iPad and Mac computers seamlessly uh, when it is officially released and the final thing is iOS 15. 4 is also 
going to bring a bunch of emojis to your iPhone. So are you excited about that or the face ID with the mask? Do share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and your patience. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks. Have a wonderful day.